the cell is my little wireless phone charger. Now I've just took my phone off there. Now this is my Safuel 15 watt phone charger. So completely made of plastic. And it's got a USB-C connection in the back. You get the cable in there as well. Now this allows you to do fast charging on your phone, providing your phone can do fast charging. Now my phone does, I'm kind of not using this to its full potential though, because I've got a fast charger that is behind me over there. Now what I've got this plugged into is my USB hub on my PC. So I don't get the fast charging, but it works great. Ooh, there we are, look at that charging. You can see my ring light there as well. So you can get fast charging with this. I'm not getting it because I'm an idiot, I'm not plugged it into a fast charger. But the one thing to bear in mind with this is that if you've got a phone cover, mine's a little bit dirty, like this one. Can you see how we've got this magnetic back there? Now I use that to connect into my car so I can use maps on my phone. Now if I put my phone into there, put it onto this charger, can you see we've got a blinking green light there? Basically it's not charging. I'm not really selling this product very well, am I? But I do like it, I really do. So if you've got a cover like that, take out the cover, it won't work. But if we just put it on there, works sweet. And we can charge it that way as well if we want to. There we are. And I find it amazingly useful. Like when I'm sitting at my desk, if I'm pretending to do any work, I like to be one of those who says, yeah, I'm very busy, but I'm doing very little really. I can have my phone right there, so if I have a phone call and I feel like ignoring the phone call, at least I can see who's calling me. So that's quite useful. Now the reason I featured that is because I have just checked on Amazon and this is $16.99. It is down from $29.99. And oh my cat's on the way back. And you can save 10% as well if you buy on one when you buy two. Okay, so if you buy two, you can save 10% basically. <clears throat> you okay, Luna? Oh, you've got tired eyes, haven't you? Look at your little eyes going. You need a sleep, don't you? Where are you off to? Are you gonna go on the windowsill for a little sleep? No, you've never slept there in your life. Don't, don't sniff my cokes either. That is not good for cats. Are you all good though? Are you okay? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? You're normally asleep in the cat tree. You don't know, do you? You just, you're sleeping. You're like me when I'm sleeping. Just kind of standing there, really dopey. Are we all good? Are we all good? Where are we going? No, you just decide to sit there. Okay, you sit there, that's fine. Okay, now, bottom of the screen, you will see we've got a little ticker. And you will see attached to me here, which the cat's trying to rub her head against, is our little fine fine M6 wireless microphone. Now, this is one of my favorite things in the world, just for the fact that it gives me the flexibility that I can actually move around the room now. And we're not gonna lose the audio. Now, my cat's gonna go and play with the uh, my earphones there. But that's what's great about this. I can get up and I can have a little walk around and our audio is going to be consistent. We're not gonna have any dropouts. If we do have any dropouts, I'm gonna be very disappointed because my receiver's only over there. But we can walk around, so we're not limited to be to sitting on the desk, which means I can try and get my cat out of here. But you're not going to, are you? Do you wanna jump on the chair? No, what are you doing? I've got my big cat over there as well, currently cleaning herself. But this microphone is an absolute godsend. Now, the receiver is USB-C, which means it's going to connect to your mobile phone. So here it is right here. You got yourself a receiver, USB-C on the one end. You also get a USB-C female port on the side. Now, what that allows you to do is if you connect this to your mobile phone, it's going to act as a receiver for your microphone, but you can plug in either a phone charger so you can continue charging your phone whilst you're using it, using it, 
or you can plug in some USB-C earphones and you can monitor the audio as well, which is really great. So if you're out and about doing any kind of filming for, I don't know, YouTube live streams or creating any kind of content, this would be my go-to microphone and it's the one I use. I use this, it's brilliant. Now, we do get a mute button on the side as well, which is your power button. Hold it down for six seconds. Six seconds? No, it's not even that long. Less than that. And you can power your microphone on and off. And if you just tap it once, uh, can you see we've got a blue light? I don't know, the cat's kind of wrestling me at the moment. Now, I know if I throw the cat out, she's going to start jumping up the door and scratching. But you're tired, aren't you? Now, can we see we've got a little blue light on the front there? Now, if I mute it, you'll see that this turns red. There we are, we're unmuted again. But yeah, does anybody else have a cat and it kind of acts like this? Like, before it wants to go to sleep? My cat does it all the time. Like, when she gets tired, she gets amazingly fussy. Sorry, I'm just looking for my chat on my, 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 my Amazon. Oh, there we are, it's loading. It was just very slow. You okay? There we are, I'm just saying hello in Amazon. Oh, no, we don't want you to walk on the camera. We can't be doing that. Come on, should we try and get you out? Right, now if you hear a lot of rustling, apologies. It's just me trying to move the cat into the other room. Come on then, Loon. Do you want to come out here? Now, this is a very good test to see what the range is like on this microphone. Good girl, Loon. You stay there. Now, let me close the door before you come back in. <coughs> there we are. Now, there's every chance that you'll be able to hear the cat jumping and clawing at the door. But her sister's in the other room as well. We've got three cats. Now we've got the big cat who's, oh, you can't quite see her there. You'll see her in this live stream. And we've got the two, we call them kittens, but they're probably not kittens now. I think they're over one year old. I don't know what age they need to be to no longer be kittens. But they will definitely be clawing that door shortly. But now I can get my keyboard back. Beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so this wireless microphone. Now this is like, awesome price it really is now let's take a look this is $29.99 and you've got that freedom of it being wireless so you can just walk around and record audio you know if you're kind of like doing tiktok and stuff and you want to film some content with your mobile phone and you find that your inbuilt microphone is not great now i suffer with that on this phone i've got a samsung galaxy s21 and i did a review on this microphone and i compared the inbuilt mic on my phone and this one I couldn't even hear myself on the Samsung this was outstanding it really was now you would have seen sorry if this rustles a little bit you would have seen a lot of TikTokers holding microphones like this and talking now the reason they do that is they know that you can attach the microphone to yourself but you do actually get the best quality audio if you can get this kind of near to your mouth now, you wouldn't notice I had it attached kind of here in the centre of my stomach. I've done a few tests and that seems to be the best position for me with this microphone. I always thought if I attached it kind of under here, then that would be good. But I think I've got one of those big, huge chins. And it doesn't quite work as well for me. So I tend to either hold it like this or attach it dead in the centre. And I seem to get some really good audio with it. Especially if I can kind of look down and talk, I'll get amazing audio. But let's go back to the Amazon listing. So it is USB-C, bear that in mind. It will work with iPhones, but I looked at the manual, I think it was earlier today or yesterday. You need con two converters. You need a lightning one that converts into USB-A. And then you need another converter on the end of this for USB-C to USB-A. <clears throat> so it will work, but you will need two converters. So bear that in mind. But if you're on Android, like a Samsung phone, you plug it in, you're good to go. I'm not sure with stuff like Xiaomi mobile phones, because I used to have one of those 
and I had to use open camera a lot of the time. But on Samsung, didn't need any additional software. Plugged it in, we were good to go. Now, you get six hours of battery life as well from a full charge on this, which I think surely is long enough to go out and film some content. But I love it. I really do. Amazing microphone. And if you want to do live streams like this on a PC, I've put a converter on there to connect it to my PC because I just don't have a spare USB-C port. If you do, plug it in USB-C. Completely plug and play, so no need to install any drivers. It just works, which means... I'm no longer restricted, and I may need to use it as well when I have a quick look at a webcam in this live stream, because my webcam allows me to walk around the room and you can track me. So this will come in very useful for that. Ah, beautiful. Now, we have got a number of microphones. Now, whenever I'm on my PC, there is one microphone that I consistently use and that is ooh, look at that that is the fine fine k688 now i've just noticed this has dropped to 69.99 let me just confirm that now you'll be able to see that my microphone is lovely and clear and i've gone slightly blurry <clears throat> Ooh, look at that i've just seen as well that it is 69.99 plus you can save another 5% on top of that as well. Now, let me just quickly show you some of the, um, basically, what port you, stuff you've got on there. Now, on the back of this mic, we've got the XLR port, and we have a USB port as well. So, USB-C and XLR, so you get the choice of both worlds. So, if you've not got a mixing desk, you can connect to USB. If you've got a mixing desk, you can go with XLR. We've got a couple of controls on the back as well. That will control the audio monitoring. So if you want to plug some earphones into the microphone, you can monitor audio and make sure you're coming through crystal clear. You also get the dial to turn up the volume for the microphone itself. That's for USB. If you're running through XLR, then your mixing desk will do all the work for that. Now, it comes in its own shock mount as well. It doesn't come with a stand or a boom arm, so you will need either, let me have a look, I've got a stand somewhere. So you will need a stand like this one, like a Samsung MD5, with a 5 8 of an inch thread, you, but you do get a converter in the box. So if you do want to mount it onto a boom arm like we have, you've already got the converter in the kit. You've got a nice little foam filter, which I always show on these streams. Is it actually feels really nice. So nice, in fact, that my cats chew it. So, all this damage down here, you wouldn't have that if you purchased this microphone. It's just my special microphone that my cats love to chew on. They've chewed on so many microphones that we've got, it is unreal. Now, this little wireless one, I've managed to hide in the drawer. So, this one's pretty unscathed at the moment. Now, I imagine you want to have a listen to this and see how it sounds. So let me do a switcheroo now. And what you're listening to now is the Fine Fine K688 microphone. So as I say, this is the microphone that I tend to use if I do any kind of filming. I just like it. It's great. It is a dynamic microphone as well, which basically means that you're going to get a lot of noise rejection from the back. So if you're concerned about typing and background noise, I recommend going for a dynamic microphone for that kind of stuff. Now, I've got quite a noisy PC over here. I need to get inside there and do a little bit of cleaning because I think the fans might be a little bit clogged. Maybe on my graphics card, but I do have a capture card which gets very loud as well. And to be fair, you probably can't even hear it through this microphone, <clears throat> which is always a boner. So if you've got a noisy PC that's a little bit of a distance away from the mic, this is going to drown that noise out. So let me fire up a, a white noise test. Let me go onto good old YouTube, white noise test. And I will let you have a listen to where the main audio comes from. Now it should come directly from the front here. As it is a dynamic mic, you're going to get some noise rejection around the sides. 
and you're going to get quite a lot of rejection from the back. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just waiting for my YouTube to, to fire up. It's deciding to go on a little bit of a go slow. Oh, here we go. Okay, so white noise test. Okay, so what you should have heard there, if I can turn it off, is the noise rejection you get from the back of this microphone. So if you're looking to do any kind of streaming or video calls and you have some background noise, this is going to get rid of quite a lot of that. Now, you can put filters on this microphone if you use stuff like OBS, which will help eliminate even more of that background noise. But this does a very good job on its own. Now, what you're listening to now is the XLR connection. Let me just see if I've got the USB connected. I have. So let me switch to USB mode. Okay, now what you are listening to is the USB connection on this microphone. Now, there's no filters whatsoever installed on this. It's not running through any mixing desk. Literally plugged directly into the PC. Now, this will work on your PC, on your Mac. It also works on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 as well. So if you are a gamer, you can use a good microphone like this. And you'll have people with their little gaming headsets on and this microphone will blow it out of the water. Mmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Do love a bit of Coke Zero. So let's take another look. Let me make sure I've got this enabled as well. Okay, I've just had to go back to XLR because I just haven't enabled the USB for this scene. So, $69.99. Very cheap. Now, that is the cheapest base price I've ever seen on this. I don't think I've ever seen it with a 5% off coupon as well. So, this is actually the cheapest it has ever been. Plus, you get a nice foam filter, unlike mine that's been chewed. Now, let me see if there's anything I've been missing out on there. So, it comes in its own shock mounts. There's the back there. So, you get your USB connection, XLR connection. You get your dials for audio monitoring. I don't think I mentioned that there's no delay whatsoever either with the, the audio monitoring. So, when you speak, it comes through your earphones immediately. There's not like a few milliseconds delay whilst you're speaking. So it's, I think it's great. I think it's really good. There we are. It's okay. I just had two sources open, the XLR and the USB. So personally, I think it is an awesome choice. And as I say, this is the one I use all the time. Now I do have another dynamic microphone that I can show you with RGB lights. I forgot to mention as well, you do get a mute button on this. It will, it will work in USB mode. If you're running through a mixing desk, your mixing desk will take over and you'll control it through the mixing desk. Now, let's have a look, see what we've got, because I've got a number of microphones here. Let's go with, let me unclip that a moment. Hmm. Do we go condensers or do we go another dynamic microphone? Hmm, let's have a look. Well, let's go with whatever's easiest to grab, which is probably this one. Now, all our microphones we've got are by Fine Fine. Reason being that I use them myself and they're brilliant. They really are. And they are such a good price as well. Now, this is a USB microphone. You do not get the XLR connection. Let's go to this camera here. So you get on the bottom some audio monitoring. You get a socket where you can mount it onto a boom arm. You do get the converter in the box and it is a mini USB connection. You get that in the box as well. Now on the front of this one, I've not moved on my carousel so bear with me. I do that lot, you know, on Amazon. I forget to move things on the carousel. Now, on the front, we do have our little mute button as well. 
So I'll tap that. Red light means you're muted. Green means that you are good to go. Now on the back, a lot of people think this is the front. This is actually the back of the microphone. You get the volume control for the mic and for the audio monitoring. Now what you will see there is that this is literally around a quarter of the way around. This is the loudest microphone known to humanity. Ben, hello dude. Welcome mate. How's life going Ben? Now we can unscrew this if you want to and that will allow us to mount it onto a boom arm. And as always, I think we need to do a little sound test as well. So let's get rid of this ticker and let's go with the fine fine K678. And now let me unmute it on my OBS. And here we are. This is your fine fine K678. Now my audio levels are touching the red we are a quarter of the way around so this is an unbelievably loud microphone now let me just unplug my xlr cable from this because i've got another microphone to show you shortly which is xlr as well as usb-c as well life is good <clears throat> you can guess what i'm doing on wednesday i'm not setting up fancy league until I get back from camping oh going camping tremendous awesome I'm not a fan of camping. I went camping once and it was in my back garden. And we took a four way adapter outside and we connected up a TV and a PlayStation. That was my idea of camping. <clears throat> I think we camped very well that night. It was beautiful. Yeah, so this is your fine, fine K678. Let me have a quick look at the prices because if you can save any money, if there's any vouchers on there, I do want to make you aware. No, this is. So I'm just checking LBS that I'm still on here. $39.99. Awesome price. Wife has stole this microphone from me. This is actually hers now. I did a review on this. I sang its praises, saying how good it was. Then I came back home and the microphone had disappeared because the wife had plugged it into her PC, decided that it was hers. And I've just got now come back. It's like, okay, it's now your microphone. It is all yours. So the audio levels, level, level, yeah, levels are great on this. Like I say, we are quarter of the way around. If we put this on full blast, people in Barbados are going to be hearing us. It goes that loud. It's amazing. Now, once again, no delay with the audio monitoring. Works in PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, PC, and Mac. It is constructed of metal as well, so it's quite a heavy-duty microphone. It's not something that you're really going to like bang into and it's going to keep toppling over. It's quite a bit of weight in this base. Some rubber on the bottom as well, so it's not going to scratch surfaces. And you can just move it around as well. Get it into whatever position is best for you. Now your main audio is this front, but it is a condenser microphone, which means it will pick up some sound from the back. So let's do our white noise test. Yes, El Ahmed, hello mate. Let's get your little name on the stream. So here we go, this is the white noise test. So noise will get picked up from the back. So if you're really close to a keyboard and you're typing, I'll do a quick test here. It's going to pick that sound up. So bear that in mind. Best thing to do with this microphone would be to mount it onto a boom arm. Kind of get it fairly high up. So it's a little bit further away from the keyboard. And that will help you out. That will be the same for pretty much all these mics. Apart from the dynamic ones. But El Hamed, how are you doing, buddy? Are you okay? Thank you for stopping by the live stream. We're just going through our fine, fine microphones that we've got. Now, this is the K678 that the wife has stolen from me. Currently, $39.99 on Amazon.com. 33% saving, normally $60.00 really good sounding microphone but if you're thinking i like it but it's a little bit dull we need more colors 
we've got you covered we have got colors we have got let's go with this one this one that needs a little wipe down we have the fine fine a8 microphone now let me move it on the carousel so people on amazon know exactly what we are talking about uh, actually keep an eye on that fine fine brand this live is on time very good microphones if you're on a budget and you're looking for a microphone i recommend checking some of these out now the one i personally use when i create content is this one which is the fine fine k688 any of these produce a similar sound to the sure mv7 do you know what, mate i've not even heard that microphone so I don't know i would say the nearest ones will be these dynamic ones so either this one or this rgb one i will show in a moment caroline i'm just saying hi hello caroline currently using your microphone we're going from your microphone there though because we're going to the a8 now if you want some rgb in your life this little bad boy does it so we can toggle between all the different colors we also have a mode which goes through this nice blended mode between a couple of colours. Beautiful. We also have a mode on the back as well, if I can press the button. Which will go through each of the static colours just in rotation. So blues into purples, into oranges and reds, yellows and greens. And that will just keep rotating through. Now you do get the pop filter on the front as well which will help with plosives we have a mute button on top which when we press it goes red to say we are muted and this is all made of plastic there's a little bit of weight in the stand not as much as this one but there is a little bit in there now you can unscrew this and mount it onto a boom arm we literally just unscrew the side here and it is a five eighths of an inch thread. And on the bottom, USB-C. And we do get the three and a half mil slot there for the audio monitoring. So let's have a listen. And let me get it all set up. Bear with me, because I lost my mouse cursor. And now you are listening to the Fine Fine A8 microphone. So if you need a little bit of RGB in your life, this could be the baby. This could be the one. Now, I'm seeing this at $42.99. Let me have a quick look on Amazon and see if there's any savings on there to be had. And we have $42.99. No coupons on that one. But there is also a pink version and a white version, which costs $2 more. So USB-C connection, you will see up here that it is compatible with your Mac, PS4, PS5, as well as PC, because that's what we're using, using it on on the moment. Now, again, let's do a little white noise test. So that should have shown that your main audio is going to come directly through the front. It is a cardioid microphone, so it's going to reject a little bit from the sides, a little bit from the back. But once again, if you're trying to eliminate keyboard presses, you're probably best to go with a dynamic microphone and kind of get it on a boom arm away from the keyboard. But let me quickly type on the keyboard so you can see what it sounds like. So that's what we're going to hear. Now my keyboard is directly behind the microphone. So I'm quite close to it. So let's pretend I'm playing some PUBG. I'm just running around the map. Do my WSDA. So I imagine how close my keyboard is to the mic. That will probably get picked up. Again, audio monitoring. No delay whatsoever. It comes with an inbuilt shock mount as well. So if you start like knocking the desk, it's probably going to pick some of that noise up, but it's going to eliminate the very harsh sound of like any kind of vibrations. But we've got another RGB mic, which is 
cheaper, even cheaper. Now, this is the cheapest desktop microphone that we've got. There are a few limitations, but if you're concerned like about audio quality, I think for how cheap this is, it sounds outrageously good. So let's have a little look. Sorry, I've got so many carry balls. Right. So this one is, sorry, I never even changed my ticker there, did I? There we are, we've got the A8 rocking at the moment. Now this one we've got here is currently $34.99. Again, let me just make sure there's not any vouchers on there. There is, ooh, there is 5% off. So $34.99, take off 5%. And you get a wider selection of colors on this one as well. That's supposed to be red, but it looks pink to me. We've got white, pink, blue, and black. Now, we are rocking the black version. So there's some limitations, but there's something I really like on this, which I kind of wish was on more microphones. So we got our RGB light. Now, you can't control that light. What you see there is what you get. The only thing you can do is, if you mute the mic, your lights go off. So I like that that if we've got now lights we know that it's either not connected or we're muted like that you get the pop filter on front as well you get a shock mount and the one thing i want to show you which i like is the positioning of the volume control it's on the bottom of the microphone and we just turn this to adjust the volume love it love that I kind of wish the other microphones had that. I like it. And it glides around very nicely. Now, as it is a budget microphone, the tripod is not the best on there. Hello, friend. I currently have the very great Myono USB condenser, AUA04, but it doesn't have a mute switch, which kills me for gaming, I can see. May I consider one of your recommendations? Anything garage? Welcome, buddy. Let's get your little comment on screen. Yeah, well, I'll have to Google that model of microphone, but I can see how the mute button would cause issues because whenever I do a live stream, I cough all the time. It must be like an anxious kind of thing, and I need the mute button. Basically need a mute button, else my streams would literally be me coughing all the time, so I feel your pain with her. Now, I think, actually, all these we've got have got mute buttons. Literally every one. Now, this is the cheapest of the desktop mics. So let's let's switch over and have a listen. Let's make sure I've still got it set up as well. And here we are. This is your fine, fine A6V microphone. $34.99. That is how much this microphone costs. I think audio quality wise, I think this is really good value. Now, it is the lightest of all the mics. So it's not something you're really going to want to like knock into because it will topple over. But you do get that mute button. There we are. I got to cough then as well. Beautiful. So if you're looking for something just cheap and cheerful that will do the job. I wouldn't look any further than this. It's great. Good thing as well is that the tripod is flimsy, not great, but it's a 5 8 of an inch thread on the bottom, which means that you can mount it onto like a heavy duty stand like this one. So the Samsung MD5 weighs a ton. Like if, if that drops on your head, you're going unconscious, honestly, weighs a ton. But you can unscrew this, screw it onto there. So a cheap microphone. I think the stand is around $19 at the moment. But then you've got yourself a good sounding microphone on a proper good stand, which is not going to topple over. So I think it sounds good. Others may disagree, but for me, I think it sounds awesome for like $35. Like if you're currently using the inbuilt microphone on a laptop or a headset, I think this is going to be a huge improvement over that. Now, I've got one more dynamic microphone that I can show you. And let me get it all ready, because I'm going to plug in the XLR cable. Now, my cats have been chewing on this as well. So the foam filter is full of fur, and it's got big teeth marks in there. 
So ignore that filter because it looks much more beautiful when it's brand new. Right, let's plug my XLR cable into here. So this microphone is the fine, fine AM8. So let me move my very cheap one over. And then let me, let me, let me, let me switch to that. And switch to that. Okay, now you are listening to the fine, fine AM8 microphone. Now, this is an RGB mic, which I've just turned the RGB lights off. There we are. Get them back on. Beautiful. Now, again, I mean, I sound like a broken record when I say, I think this one sounds good. But I do actually think everything from Fine Finder sounded amazing. Now, I had a microphone. Let me show you this one. I bought a microphone from Fine Fine for a bit of a laugh because I thought that's not going to sound very good. Look at that. It's like what you get in the supermarket when they say we got a spillage on aisle three. Looks like one of those actually sounded amazingly good. I was well surprised. And it was from there I was thinking actually Fine Fine. Well, if that sounds good, let's try a few more of their microphones out. And I'll be honest, they've not let me down. They've all sounded really good. Now, you'll notice that I've got a red light here for the mute button. Now, let me make sure I've got this muted. I have. Now, that is to mute the mic. When it was red and you could still hear me, that's because I'm running this through my XLR connection on my Go XLR Mini. So, I lose that functionality, unfortunately. It's all controlled through my mixing desk. But... Let's have a listen to the USB connection, if I can find it in my list. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Okay, so this is the raw audio through the USB connection. My volume setting. I've now just turned it all the way up to max. My window setting will be on 88 out of 100, because I always find... If I go to like 90s or 100, I get a lot of crackly with like any microphone. I think it's just a Windows thing. How are the cats? The cats are doing glorious, buddy. I've had to just kick one of them out because hasn't been in here. As soon as I start a live stream, starts walking out of the keyboard. So I've had to put her out. And I think she might have just gone to sleep because she's not long come back in from outside. So we've got this big like chicken coop in the back garden where we put our cats in and just lock it. Although the one cat realised that if she kind of headbutts it strong enough, she can open it. So we've got to get some more locks on there. But now they're good, mate. They're not too bad. Thank you for asking. And I've got one that's asleep at the moment on the side over there. Now, let me do my, my test. My usual white noise test. So your main audio, as it is a dynamic mic, directly through the top. So we're going to lose some of this white noise the further down the microphone we get, hopefully. So let's have a listen. Okay, you should have heard a difference there. You may have had some like loud noises. I think it was because I was knocking the cables on the back as I was moving around. So that is your USB connection. Let's go back to our XLR, if I can find my cursor on my screen. It's good as well. So when I switch from like one audio to another, I get to have a little cough in between. You can probably see me doing that. So yeah you get your rgb lights now i'm going to try and move it sorry if i make any noises whilst i'm doing this now these lights we have this mode which do you know what? probably going to be better on this camera let me move these out the way let me change that ticker as well because it's the wrong one All right, let me move those let me try not to knock my cog zero over else that would be an absolute travesty 
now let's knock the exposure down on my camera so you can see the lights in their full glory so we have this blended mode where all the colors just go round the microphone that's probably a better angle of it now we do have a button on the back as well so if i tap the button we can go through each of the static lights so rather than it going all the way around we just go through each of the static ones or you can select whichever color you want so if you want to try and match it with a background so i've got red i think i've already gone past red there we are red so oh no that's the wrong mode there's red so i can have the red so it matches my background so that's quite good i'm just i'm disgusted with how much cat fur i've got on this microphone horrible sweetie hello sweetie how we doing did i tell you what's feeding another stray cat sweetie and that cat's kitten and he bit me as well bloody cat bit me i was there feeding the cat started stroking turn round now cats are rapid in there turn round like clawed me and bit me honestly it's like i was playing mortal kombat <laughs> like a combo move pickles hello pickles how we doing let's let's get you on the stream saying hello hello let's put sweetie on as well hello sweetie <coughs> What's the price of that micro? Which, which micro? Uh, microphone. This one here. Let me have a look and see what it is at the moment. AM8. Now, this is currently 54. Is my microphone still coming through? Yes, 54.99. Now, oh, something I didn't mention as well is you see this stand do you know what let me go back to my wireless mic so i can unscrew this without kind of deafening people now oh, love this microphone my little wireless one let me do a switcheroonie on this duh, duh, duh. let's just change my tickers over and let's go back to this okay so what i like about this mic is let me just unplug the cables is we can unscrew the base you get the base with it and in the bottom of the base you actually get let me turn my exposure up on my camera make it nice and bright on the bottom we have the five eighths of an inch thread and inside there we get the three eighths of an inch which means it will mount onto boom arms and you don't need an additional converter because it's already built into there so on the base you'll see that's like three eighths of an inch that screw so you can just mount it straight onto a boom arm which is an absolute bonus who wants to be messing around with converters and this one is xlr or usb c as well so you get the the choice of both worlds with this and you get the audio monitoring with the three and a half mil jack just to make sure you're coming through crystal clear and if you do get one you're not going to get the amount of cat fur that i've got on this filter at the moment look at the fur on that and then look at the, the teeth marks my cat chewed the life out of it but still sounds very good <clears throat> maybe you're scared trying to capture it well i've been feeding it for like a few weeks so i thought we had like this really nice relationship but no, it, it didn't like sink its teeth in to like completely destroy me. It just sunk them in a little bit. Now, my, my hands are getting better. Now, whenever I film stuff, you, see, you can't really see it on there. But I've got a scar down here. I've got one here. I had some on my hand there where the cat bit me and clawed me. So if I film stuff and I have to get my hands on camera... A lot of the time, you'll notice now that I've got my hand rotated really weirdly. Because, basically trying to get rid of the scars. <laughs> uh, microphone is in pounds. I live in Canada. Is there a microphone in the range of 30 to 40? I'm just starting streaming. Okay, buddy. If you are just starting, now I always recommend if you're just starting, don't spend loads of money. Make sure that 
if you're doing streaming, that it's something that you'll consistently do. Because there's nothing worse than spending hundreds on a microphone for you to find out that streaming's kind of not for you after a while. So if you're looking for the cheapest, what we've got here, we have this RGB one. Uh, I don't know if he was here when we were showing it, but I can show it again. It's not a problem. Now, this is... Now, I'm looking at the US prices at the moment, but I imagine this is going to be kind of roughly around the same price. Now, this is, in the US, $34.99. You can get different coloured versions of it. So, pink, white, supposed to be red, but it looks pink. Blue and black. So, let me switch over and let you have a listen to it. Here we are. So, this is your Fine Fine A6V microphone. Now, if you're just starting out, I think this would probably be good enough for what you want to do. It is a condenser microphone, which means it's going to pick up some sound from the back as well. So if you're really close to a keyboard, it's going to pick up you typing. You can mount it onto a boom arm if you want to, which basically means you can get the microphone further away from your keyboard, which will eliminate a lot of that sound. I think audio quality wise for how cheap this is, it's a really good choice. Plus you get some RGB lights. Now, you don't get control of those lights. The sequence you see there, that's the sequence. You can't change it. You can mute it. You've got an inbuilt mute button. And you'll see the RGBs turn themselves off. So at least you know you're muted. You've got a shock mount. You've got a pop filter. And what I like about this, which I did mention earlier, is your volume control is actually on the bottom of the microphone. Really like that. I wish more microphones did that. It's going to work in your PC, in your Mac, in a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. They don't work in Xboxes, so do bear that in mind. The stand is flimsy. Like, you've got this three-legged stand. You're stuck with that position. So if you knock this, it's going to fall over. So I would recommend either putting it onto a boom arm or get hold of like a big heavy duty stand like this, screw it on there, it just won't fall over. Connects through USB-C on the back, and you don't get any audio monitoring on this one. That's basically because it's the cheapest one. If you've got your heart set on RGB lights, you've also got this one, which is like the big brother of this one, which is your A8 microphone. Now on this one, you do get control of the RGBs, so you've got a little button on the back so we can get it to match our background. You can toggle through all the lights or you can have a similar sequence to this one or another one where it goes through each of the lights. Is your set? My sound is coming through the cheapest mic at the moment, yeah. So what you are listening to is the cheapest microphone, which is this A6V. So if I go to this one now, which is the A8 microphone, Okay, this is the A8, so this is a little bit more expensive. This one is, let me have a look, $42.99, so it's a little bit more expensive, but you do get more flexibility with the RGB lights. You get the audio monitoring, and it's a little heavier as well, so it's not going to topple as easy as this one. You do get the mute button on top as well, you'll see that green light which turned red when you're muted. So I actually quite like that one, where if we're muted, then no lights come on. So USB-C as well, it'll plug into your computer through USB-A, and this is the audio quality. Comes inbuilt in a shock mount as well, and you can mount it onto a boom arm. Sweetie, but it's got good audio. Is that for the, the very cheap one? Yeah, I've tested them before on the live stream, and Amy, who comes into the live stream, basically prefers this one out of everything. She's like, that's my favourite. <clears throat> For example, if I want to make keyboard video like these chill gaming Fortnite videos, how can I mute the key, mute like my voice, for example, if I breathe? I don't want to sound like I'm breathing into the video. Okay, if you are... 
I presume if you're recording through your computer, you're probably going to be using something like OBS. Now, let me bring my OBS over and I'll quickly show you how you could actually help with that. So hopefully you can still hear me. Yes, I've got the microphone set up. Okay, so this is my OBS. Now, I know it looks really confusing and it keeps going back and back. Ignore all that. It's this. Let me get rid of my ticker as well. It's this bottom bit you want to look at. So this, uh, let me find the A8. So this microphone here that you're listening to, you can right click on that and click on filters. And what you can do is you can add a, a noise gate on there. And what that will allow you to do is basically close the microphone. So in essence, it switches your microphone off once it reaches a certain decibel. So your breathing will be quieter than your talking voice. So basically, your breathing will get eliminated if you put a noise gate on there. So that's the one thing you want to look at. You can do that with any microphone as well. So if you record using LBS, you can actually do it all in there with any mic. So it doesn't have to be one of these. If you've got your own microphone, you can do it through there. And there's loads of other things you can do as well. Sorry, let me bring that screen back up. So you've got all these filters. So as you see there, we've got a compressor on this, which basically means that I can't really go too loud. Like if I start, if I start shouting now like this, that's actually loud. But my OBS is making it a little more quiet so it doesn't peak and kind of deafen the audience. I just want the sound of the keyboard when I'm gaming. To be fair, if you if you have your mic near the keyboard, that is probably the way you'll be able to do that. I doubt it's going to pick up your your breathing but even so if you do a noise gate because if your mic's closer to the keyboard your noise gate will basically pick that up and any kind of noise that's going on around it will drain that out so you should be able to do it just have your microphone pointed at your keyboard that would be the best way have you got one of those noise keyboards that's really clicky mechanical one see i've not got one of those I feel slightly left out. But uh, yeah, I've gone, I've gone through error microphones. Now, shall I go back? Hmm, I'll go back. Is there a way to tilt it? You can tilt any of these mics. So let me do this one because it's not the one you were listening to. So what you can do is... Let me come to this camera here. So on this stand, if I can get it there, you can unscrew this screw... And that allows you to tilt your microphone. So what I can do is basically have it like this. Well, you can tilt it basically backwards like that. So yeah, you can tilt them. I think you can tilt all of them. Yeah, you can. All of them you can tilt. Yeah, so it can be done. You can do that. Some of them, like this one, look a little bit different. So you've got the two screws. Yeah, let me do it on this one. You've got the two screws on the side. And we can basically just tilt this out however we want. Once we get it into position, literally just tighten it up. And it locks into position. So yes, you can do that with any of these microphones. Except for this one here because you need a boom arm or a stand with this you literally just get the microphone if you bought this but yes it can be done it can be done let me go back to my wireless microphone there we are back on the wireless mic no 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 i think i want to show you the the best webcam that's ever been invented <laughs> not even joking it's a great webcam let me get it fired up. I need Canada. I let me see if I can get onto Amazon. Oh, what you can do is I've actually got a link which 
do you know what? Let me, let me, let me, let me, bear with me. I've got, got something in my head. Was it the, the cheapest one you were looking at? Ah. Right, let me find it in my, my list of videos. A6V. Okay, I'm going to send you a link through, which hopefully should send you to your Amazon store. So you're in YouTube. Let me... Okay, there's a link in the chat in YouTube. If you click on that link, it should send you to your storefront. So if you're in Canada, providing it's in stock, it should send you there. Hopefully. But that's the one, the A6V. Ah. Right. Let me show you the best webcam ever. What wireless mic are you using? I am using the Fine Firing M6. This should be at the bottom of the screen. It should say it there. So let me show you that microphone. Okay, so this is your wireless M6 microphone. So there's the mic there, which is what's attached to me, which is slightly gone all angled. You get the USB-C receiver as well, which plugs into a mobile phone. It will work on iPhones, but you will need two converters for it to work. What I like about this, if you can see my cursor, is on the side of the receiver, you've got another USB-C port. That basically allows you to charge up your phone while you're using it, or you can plug in USB-C earphones and you can monitor the audio. Damn, looks nice. It's, I love it. Absolutely love it. Let me come to this little camera. So here it is. So we get the blue light to say we're active. You can mute it as well. Button on the side. So you get the red light to say that you are muted. It is USB-C on the bottom to charge it up. You get six hours of battery life with it. And you get your clip on the back as well. So you can attach it to yourself. Now, this is probably going to rustle whilst I reattach it. There we are. <clears throat> I am in love, mate. Do you know what? I was exactly the same when I got this microphone. I was like, where have you been all my life? It's 56 Canadian dollars in Canada for the microphone. I'm not sure what the conversion rate is between like Canadian dollars and US dollars. You could also look at, hmm, see, I think that would be the cheapest one. Let me see if I can get onto, is it Amazon.ca? Let me have a look. Canada is very expensive. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I've, I can see it. I've got the, the Canadian Amazon on, so 56. So let me see what else I've got. Oh yeah, eighty two ninety nine for the that one hundred nine for that. Yeah, they they're a lot more expensive in Canada. So that one's about seventy dollars, and that's the other one we've got as well, which is very good. But fifty three ninety nine. Yeah, they're man. It is expensive in Canada. I didn't even realise. Not good. Oh, the one other thing I've got as well, which I I think I forgot to mention it in the previous stream as well, is I occasionally play some games and I'm not huge when it comes to wearing headsets just because I can never gauge how loud I'm speaking where I'm wearing a headset and they always hurt my head and my ears. But once again, fine, fine, honestly. They should give me a job, shouldn't they? This is what I've been using for when I've been playing games. Which is the H6 headset with these nice little RGB lights. Look at those, beautiful. Now you don't get control over those lights, so what you see there is what you get. You can't turn those off. You do get an inbuilt microphone as well, which you can just pull out. 
And what's good about this is it is 7.1 audio, which you can disable. You don't need to have 7.1 if you don't want to. You can mute the mic on the control. And you'll see on the side there, we've actually got an EQ button as well. And you'll see we've got three modes that we can toggle between. And on the back, let's see if I can get that. You should be able to see some little icons there. So we have a music mode, a gaming mode, and a movie mode. So you just select whatever you're doing, and you'll get the best audio. I have found, though, that the gaming mode gives you the best bass. So if you're listening to any kind of music with bass, like drum and bass, for example, I would probably go with gaming mode over the music mode. Now, these are USB-A headsets. And, oh yeah, you can control volume as well. So at the bottom, volume down, volume up. And I've actually won a couple of games on PUBG with these as well. We didn't win last night though. We got second place a couple of times. But you get padding. Sorry, let's go back to this camera. You get some nice padding on the... What do you call these? Ear, ear, earbuds? No, earbuds is more like earphones, isn't it? Well, these are nicely padded and on top as well. Now, I've had some before where I've got no padding on here. And for a bald man like me, I need some padding. So, very good. Just finished ordering the wireless one. Good decision. Good decision. Really good microphone. I love it. And to be fair, you're, this is the audio you get from it. No filters whatsoever. This is the raw audio. And I tested it out on my Samsung Galaxy S21. And I did a comparison between this inbuilt mic and this one. And I couldn't even hear myself on this one. So for me, it's been a massive upgrade. Hopefully, you love it. Some call them cadence. Yes, they do. Oh, why did I not remember that? Yeah, there's lots of padding on the cans. But if you say cans to me, I think cans of Coke Zero. <clears throat> Can you show me the best for recording on Mac? Oh, do you know, I've not got a Mac. So I've, I don't know what the best settings would be. I'll just probably jump on YouTube and have a look. But if you use them, I mean, if you're trying to record audio, I tend to record audio using Audacity on the PC. I believe it should be available for the Mac as well. But uh, I don't have a Mac, so I don't really want to say anything that kind of doesn't make sense. I was I was never a huge Mac fan. I just always grew up with like Windows PCs, so I just kind of stuck with those. Although I did have to mess with some Macs when I worked as an IT technician which I kind of dreaded doing. Just because I didn't really know much about them. That was the only reason. Because when I record, the video quality doesn't feel like 1080. Are you recording with OBS? <clears throat> because, I mean, OBS should be... Even the home page is kind of weird when recording. So let me... Just have a look. Uh, I think it's to do with bitrate, but because I'm live streaming, it's locked all my OBS, so I can't get to the settings to have a look. But yeah, if you go to your settings in OBS, if that's what you're using, then I believe it is under the under output, I think. Under the output section, there's a recording tab. So, to be fair, I can get to that. So let me let me try and show you this. So you've got this recording tab here, and you can have a play around with like different recording formats. So you could try it as an MKV file and see how that comes out. And I believe under video. When I'm not live streaming, I think I get more options under there, like when it comes to bit rate and stuff. So you really want to set that really high if you're recording locally to your computer. Not so much if you're going live, because your bit rate is more to do with your upload speed of the internet. But yes, I would have a look under there. <coughs> right, what was I going to show you now? Oh, I was going to show you this webcam as well. 
And let me find the webcam on the carousel. Now, this is an expensive webcam. I'm not going to lie, it is expensive. But it's been the best webcam that I've ever used. And I'll load it up in the software so you can see exactly what we're talking about. And here we are. This is your Insta360 Link webcam. So this image you're seeing here is a webcam which does 4K as well. 4K, 30 frames per second. Now, I'm trying to wave fast because if I don't, I can actually do tracking, which means that I can actually get up and have a little walk around and the webcam should track me wherever I go. Now, it normally loses me there because, can you see the, the black thing up there? That's actually a monitor that I've got. So every time it hits that monitor, it's like, Andy, where have you gone? Go on, come and track me. There we are. Right, I'll try and stay a little bit low. Oh, tripping over treadmills. So, here we are. This is our, our little webcam. Now, you can give it the high five if it can pick me up. And you can enable and disable the tracking by a high five. Oh, it's following me around. Hello. Hello. How are we doing? Hello. So it's image quality is ridiculously good for a webcam. Now let me disable that. So it's not going to trap me now if I move around. But let me turn my camera off from there. So you'll see at the top of the screen, I can manually just move this around. You can even see my cat as well. There's my cat having a sleep. Let's zoom in. There she is. She's asleep, loving life. And you'll notice that I've just pressed face because I've set up preset positions. So if I want to view this chair behind me, click on there, it's going to zoom in. If you want to have a look at my lights behind me, well, that is a light there that I've just not. Now, I, I need to shave my head as well. Look at this, I've got little hair sprouting on the sides. So, great for stuff like that. Now, let me just move my ticker. Because at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that we're in 4K, you can do 1080. But what else you can do is that if you film on like TikTok and you need vertical format, we can click this mode here. And what that will do is that it flips the head. So I've not touched that. It's flipped the head over. So I'm ready to record some vertical format video. Really useful. Now let's go back. Go back on the face. There we are. Beautiful. Now, we have full control of the image as well. We can put auto exposure on there and it will do its best. But we can play around with these sliders and just fine tune the image. We have the exposure curve as well. So if we really want to kind of dial that image in, make it look really funky, we can do that. Let's reset that because I cocked that up. We've got the white balance we can change brightness all that good stuff i've never needed to it's always looked good to me but i'll probably need to knock that down just a touch somewhere like that now we the tracking that you saw there when i put my hand up it picks up and then i can start tracking let me stop it again you can disable it from doing that so if i put my hand up now it's not going to do any tracking because the software has told it no your hand means nothing to me we can zoom. Let's see if this works. So I'll do the L shape. But it, ne it never quite picks up my, my fingers. I don't think I'll put my fingers in the right place. There we are. So we can basically zoom in and out by doing that. Which is also quite nice. We do have a whiteboard mode. But my whiteboard is on the angle. So it won't pick it up. And stuff like if you do tracking... We can have it so it focuses solely on our head, half the body. We was on whole body, so it tries to pick everything up if we move away from the camera. Really good webcam. I love it. Oh, a few options as well is you've got the overhead mode. I do need to mount it onto a tripod to do that, so it's not worth showing you that. But we have desk view mode. What that does is that it tilts it 45 degree angle. So we can actually look at what I'm typing on the keyboard. You can look at my big empty glass of Coke Zero. 
which I need to sort out. I need some more Coke Zero in my life, so I will get some after this stream. You can control your tracking down there as well, and if you want to record any, like a screenshot or any video, you can do that in the software. Let's go back to the main camera. So that is your Insta360 link. Top of the range webcam. Now it's it's expensive. It's $299, so like $300. But from all the webcams I've ever tested, that's been the one that's given me the best image. Now, really great webcam. Yeah, it's awesome. It really is. Now I need to get hold of some of the latest webcams, you know, like the brand new Elgato one. Probably need to get hold of that. But yeah, from what I've used, it's been awesome. Now, you can probably see behind me, I've got some, some red lights as well. Which, let me find them on the carousel. These are my Nano Leaf lights. Now, let me show you the shapes because... Oh, actually, no, let's go canvas because they're easier to see. Because the canvas ones are over here. Now, I'm using a Stream Deck, which... Ooh, you can probably see down there. And what I can do with my Stream Deck is I can control my lights. So I can turn them on and off using my Stream Deck. If I fancy changing colours, I can change my colours through my Stream Deck. If I want to go back to my reds, I can do that. And there are lots of modes available for this. So let me fire the little app up so you can have a look. Du, 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 du. Right, right, right. Nano Leaf is what we are looking for. <clears throat> now, rather than just static lights like that, you can have it. So we can have fireworks. Now, that will only activate every time it detects any kind of sound. So when I'm speaking, that's hearing me and it's lighting up. Oh, how good is that? There's plenty of different options we can select as well, all through the Nano Leaf app there. So we can select any of these. You'll see there's a little music symbol over there, which is basically one of the modes that when we speak, it lights up. You can schedule these as well, so you can have them turn on and off at certain times of the day. And the other thing I do quite like as well, is that if you've got Alexa, a Google Assistant, if you use IFTTT, or Amazon Home, Amazon, no, Apple HomeKit, sorry. You can actually control everything through there. So let's see if this works. Uh, what's that one called? That's Canvas. Alexa, turn off Canvas. Alexa's not listening to me. Alexa, turn off Canvas. Oh. Okay, Alexa was listening to me. And those lights have now turned off. Alexa, turn on canvas. There we are. Now the okay. lights have turned themselves back on. So you can control it by talking. Beautiful. The quality is kind of not focused like the home page. It's not like that normally. Are you using OBS to record stuff? And what camera are you using as well? Yeah, so everything you're seeing with that light, so if you've basically configured things in your mobile phone, if you're using stuff like a Stream Deck, I can just press a button, go back to what we was originally set to. Now, those are, they're on offer actually. Once again, they're quite pricey, but they're actually very nice. So that is the Nano Leaf Canvas. Now, that is the starter kit that I'm using. So there's nine panels, and the panels are larger than what I was kind of expecting. Now, those are normally $180. You can get them for $149.99. So they are quite pricey, but you do get quite a lot of flexibility with, with what you can do with the lights. So you get the music mode. You can play games on there as well, you know, like where you can like touch panels when they light up. I've not done that personally, but you can do it with these lights. Now, the other ones I've got, which I need to move out of the way, are these big ones here. Now, these ones are... Sorry, I just heard a noise, like somebody just walked in. 
Let me just have a quick look outside. So I heard like a bang, unless it's my cat banging around. Quite possibly is my cat. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's my cat's having a wander around. If not, I'm I'm being burgled on a live stream. Yeah, so these lights over here Oh, oh, look at that. I could turn them off as well. I don't know how to turn them back. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So these are touch panels. So you can configure it. So if you do certain motions like swiping, it's supposed to turn them back on. Although I think I've literally just broken. Oh, no, there we are. So you can do swiping motions on there to turn them on and off. You can actually do swiping to configure the brightness on there as well. Let me find it on the app. So, uh, let me go to shapes. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me figure out where everything is on the app. Ba, 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 ba. I forgot what I was doing. I was doing the swiping, why not? I was doing swiping. So, shapes. Configuration. Here we are. So, let me try not to get the ring light on there. So, you can configure it so if you swipe up, you can have it to turn things on and off. Oh, sorry, there we are, in focus. You can change it, so you can control the brightness, change different colour sequences. Rhythm is basically the music mode. So you can configure it to do pretty much whatever you want. Now, there are control panels on these as well. So, I can press buttons down here. Oh, I think I've adjusted the brightness on that one. Ooh, look at that. So we can go through different modes from using the touch panel. <coughs> Which is very good. So you don't need to get your phone out and start loading up the Nano Leaf app. You can actually control it on the control panel. Same with those ones over there as well. There's a little touch panel on the the one. What's, what's the word I'm looking for? I was going to say the one slate, but slate's probably not the right word. But we'll go with slate anyway. So the one on the end, you can basically turn them on, turn them off, go through different colour sequences. So I'm liking having to play with those. The only problem I have is half the time my cat rubs up against these ones behind me and starts turning them on and off. I probably should have configured it better. Now, you will notice that when I come to this scene here, I can get things in focus very nicely. So if I bring this close, can you see how we've got this nice blurry background behind us? That is because on my camera, I am using the Sigma 1.4 16mm lens, which is great for stuff like that. So if you're into like photography, see, I'm more into creating videos. So I like to get products, but I want a nice blurry background so that product stands out. And that is what this lens does on this camera. Now, I'm currently set to 2.2, I think. Let me have a look. Okay, now I've dropped my lens down to aperture 1.4, which is like the highest this can go, which basically means when this goes in focus, my background goes really blurry. And I believe this goes all the way up to 22. Let me turn it up. So you'll notice that as I'm turning this up, Everything else is coming into focus. And that's basically what this lens allows me to do. So if I was filming this product, your eyes are going to be looking in the background like, ooh, what, what's he got on his screen over there? But if I turn this all the way down, I can get that nice blurry background and that makes this phone cover stand out. I mean, you can even see the fingerprints on there. So if you're looking for a lens that can do something like that, that Sigma lens is fantastic. And if you see any of my videos, that is the lens I'm using to film stuff. It's brilliant, really good. Now that is currently $374, so we're getting quite pricey. But on no camera lenses tend to be really expensive anyway. Now I'm just going through my, my little list of things. Is uh, If there's anybody on Look at the carousel on Amazon. Is there anything that, that people would like to see? I mean, I will happily read out the stuff that we've got. So if you're on YouTube as well, 
If there's any of this that you want us to show on camera, let us know. So you've seen all the microphones, you've seen the webcam. We've held the the stand up. Oh, sorry, right next to me. I've kind of shown you that stand. Five eighths of an inch thread on top. Very heavy. We've got we've got some fastening cables, which I think are on offer. Now, if you're like me, my cables are a mess. Like, really bad. So I picked up some of these. Basically, reusable cable ties. So I used to use cable ties where I had to get scissors to cut them. If, so if, let's say, for example, this microphone broke, I would have to cut through the cable tie to basically get rid of that microphone cable. Whereas with these, as they are Velcro, I can just slide that in there so I can stick all my cables in there, Velcro it down. If something breaks, quickly undo the Velcro, replace the cable, Velcro it back up. Honestly, been a game changer for me. They really have. I mean, I'm still very messy with cables, but they have been very good. I've lost my, my phone. Now, I've shown you the Fine Fine headset. I've got a couch coaster. I've got my Elgato stream deck. I've got my Elgato foot pedal as well. So you would have seen, like in this stream, that I can go between different scenes and you'll see that, like, I'm not using my hands. That's because I'm using the Elgato foot pedal, which basically gives me three options. I get three pedals. I can toggle between different scenes. I can set it up so I can mute things if I want to. So that's very useful. I've got a couple of little cleaning brushes. I've got my cat grooming brush. I've got a Catmate C300 automatic cat feeder. I've got my Ulanzi. I'll tell you what, let me show you that. If I can find it. I think it's in my laptop bag. Let me go and have a look. Let me go and have a look. If it's not in this bag, I think I've lost it. But the reason it's in the bag is because... There it is. See, there's proof that I use it. Because I take that laptop bag everywhere with me. Now, if you do any kind of content creation, you need a tripod. This is kind of my go-to because I film stuff at my brother's house. And for some reason, this tripod here, I take the camera. I always leave this tripod behind. Don't know why. Always forget it. Now, this has been an absolute lifesaver. Now, I always thought that I could... On, let me just move that out of the way because it's kind of in front of the camera. I thought that I could basically do that and that was it. So I'll stand it down. That was all I could do. I didn't realise, silly Andy, that this extends like a really long way. I mean, it looks like a weapon, doesn't it? But really good. So I can take some photos with this. Let me, let me try and stand up and show you what's going on with this. So I can just chuck this down. I've got a nice big high stand there. We get a ball head, which basically means that we can move our phone or our camera that is on there. And what I didn't realise, once again, silly Andy, I kept mounting a converter on the end of this, not realising that this actually un unclips like that. I need to hold a field phone. I was not aware. I didn't even know that. And I was there praising this tripod up saying, oh, this is really good. Without realising that I could literally mount phones and stuff in there without a converter. Too late is better than never. Absolutely. It really is. Now, I did do a video on this. And on the video, you'll see that I've got like a converter on the end of there. So I didn't realise that that flipped open. I'll be honest, I thought I broke it. Because it was kind of... See, that's slightly hanging down. I thought, oh no, I've broke the plastic. Then, basically, it's supposed to do that. Then you just flip that up. I was like, oh, Andy, why, why did you just not realise that? So that has been great. Now, I've used my big camera on there as well. And it held it. Now, ideally, you don't want like a big screen on there and extra lights, any extra weight. 
if you've just got like a camera with its stock lens, it should hold it fine. If you've got something really heavy like that, then you'll notice that you'll stick this up and it'll start going like gradually down because there's just too much weight. But if you were using mobile phones, you won't have an issue with that. Really good, really good. I love it. That's why it's in the bag because when I go to my brother's, I guarantee I'll forget this. So now, very good. Let me see what else I had on my carousel because I don't want to keep people long. I've got my Elgato green screen. I've got my newer light. We looked at Nano Leafs. I've got my pet heating mat. I've got my Sony A6400 camera. Now I've got two of those. So this one here is my Sony A6400 and this one is as well. I think it's time for an upgrade though. I think I'm due a new, a new one. <coughs> Headphones. Now this is something I've not shown on any of these streams yet. And it's something I use pretty much every day. I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit fat. Since we had all the lockdowns and everything, I put loads of weight on. And football was like my stress relief. But I kicked a ball in January and I fractured my pelvis by kicking a football. That is how weak I am. So I haven't played football for seven months, which meant I put more weight on. But we're trying to combat that. We're doing more exercise. We're eating better. And I use these when I go out, these headphones. They are wireless and you get, I think it's like 40 hours of battery life. It's ridiculous how much battery life you get in these. Now, I don't use these for gaming or anything like that. Literally, just for going out. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, these are quite cheap. These are $15.88. They're actually on sale at the moment. They're normally $20. Now, it's not going to blow people away with audio quality. Not that I know much about audio quality, because I tend to buy cheap stuff. Money! Random question. <clears throat> Did you have any issues with it since? I have a... But not a game break. I wonder if you have... In your usage. Did you have issues with since The camera. I've not had any issues with it, mate. It's been great. Uh, what issues are you having with it, Money? Yeah, so as you've seen there, I can fold them up like this. They charge through USB-C as well, right there. And we have controls on the side, so we can knock the volume up and down. We can take calls, we can hang up on calls. And we can skip to like the next track or the previous track if you're listening to music. So, made of plastic. We've got a little bit of padding on the cans. That's my new word now, the cans. And these are the 6S model. So if you literally just want to go out and you just want some cheap headphones, you want to listen to a bit of music, maybe a podcast, these have been really good for me. And I've had these, oh God, I must have had these near enough a year now. And they've been really good. And the thing is that I always forget to recharge them and the battery just seems to keep lasting. I think the battery's only ever gone once on there. But I've just never, I just never charged it. So it's about 40 hours battery life. Really good. So my webcam is constantly plugged into my Mac Mini. I do find not getting recognised by people stream yard till I unplug and replug. No, I've not had that issue. The only issue I've had when it's been like that is if I've got the Insta software open. And the webcam's running through the Insta software, so OBS just can't pick it up. Of course, you can only have one instance of the camera running. But if the software's not loaded up and it's just OBS, then no, I've not had that issue at all. I mean, the only thing I'd suggest is just check see if there's a firmware update, but I presume you would have done that anyway. And I think it's, it flags up anyway if there is a software update. But no, I can't say I've ever experienced that with it. It's always been top notch, no issues with it. <coughs> you watch now, it, it won't work now. And I'll be like, Manny, you've tempted fate. But now personally, it's been great, no issues. Uh, the only thing I find is that it gets hot on 4K, but it's never skipped a beat, always worked perfect. That's the only thing I've noticed. Yeah, so it's hot now. 
but it's never like died or anything. It's always been really good. Right, do we have any questions with regards to any of the products? If you've got any questions in general, feel free to ask. I'm an open book, I'm happy to answer any questions. I was going to move from the USB air connection rather than... How is it connected at the moment, through USB-C or USB-A? <coughs> uh, I think mine, I think I put a converter on mine. Let me have a quick look. So I think mine is running through USB-A at the minute. Let me just trace the cable back and have a look. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I've got a converter on mine at the moment, so mine's going through USB-A. Do you get converted from the box? Yeah, try it with a converter. So that's what I'm using anyway, it's been fine. But which editing software would you recommend for someone just starting? Okay, if you're just starting and you want some good software that's free, DaVinci Resolve. Now, I personally don't use that because I'm so used to using Adobe Premiere that it's difficult for me to switch to something else. Although I should go to DaVinci Resolve. If you're literally just doing little like cuts in between videos then you could use stuff like Shotcut which is free. You've got Cyberlink Power Director but I think you have to pay for that. <coughs> but yeah, Shotcut's free. And even stuff like Movie Maker if you can still use that. That'll do the job. The only reason I'd recommend going for something like Adobe Premiere or the paid version of DaVinci Resolve is if you want to start using transitions and stuff. Tad complicated. Yeah, I would recommend looking at videos on DaVinci Resolve. Like the basic editing, I can do fine on there. It's if I want to start doing colour correction, they use a node system, which I look at and it confuses me. Anything garbage? Have you just donated a dollar? I'm confused. He has. Oh, you absolute beautiful human. That is very kind of you. Ce celebrate your first super chat. How do I celebrate? I want to give you some, some love hearts. <laughs> Thank you. I normally have something that appears on stream, but don't, did anything appear then for that super chat? I'm absolutely gutted if it hasn't. But uh, thank you very much. That is very kind of you. I really do appreciate it. I'll put that towards some Coke Zero. <coughs> It'll probably go towards my cats, to be honest. But now that, that's very kind. That was very unexpected. Now I'm, I'm just fuming that my stream elements has done nothing. Bear with me. I'm firing up stream elements right now. We're sorting this out. I want to see if I can show that on stream. Ah, I don't know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. Right, where are you? Stream, no, not stream. Yeah, stream elements is what I want. YouTube, stream elements. Yeah, there we are. Is that fired up? Right, that should have just appeared on the stream now. There we are, beautiful. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. I told you I cough a lot when I do streams. Yes, thank you very much for that. Now, I'm, I need to put that onto a totally different scene. But yes, thank you. I, I will do that when I come off the stream now. Because I thought that was enabled. But anything garage, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. So uh, I don't think we've got any more questions. But yeah, El Ahmed, if you can learn DaVinci Resolve, I'd recommend learning that. There is a free version, which does pretty much everything, to be honest. I think it's ridiculous that it's free. There's like so much you can do on there. But yeah, try and learn that if you're starting out. It will be a little bit confusing at first. But yeah, I would start there. 
so uh, I, I think we're I think we're done for the day I think maybe this will come just to help you oh mate you're just dishing dollars out well is that appearing on stream please appear yeah there it is mate anything goes that that is amazingly kind thank you man seriously thank you I think I'm going to go and cry when I come off stream now. Sure, thanks. No problem. But yeah, just feel free to ask any questions. I'll do my very best to help as much as I can. I mean, don't think that I'm a professional at anything. I'm really not. Even stuff like webcams and microphones. I literally just want to show you what they sound like, what they look like. Then you can make a decision on there. I'm not really going to come on and say, buy this, buy this now. Just... Have a listen, have a look. If you like it, by all means, purchase it. But now I just want to try and help people out as much as I can. That's all I want to do. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Andy tested the webcam just for my behalf once upon a time. I did, yeah. Yeah, like if people need me to do any kind of testing, as long as I've got the product, I'm happy to test things. Even better if I can do it on stream as well. And you can see in real time in case there are any issues. But uh, yeah, I th did I pin a comment to this stream? I did, yeah. You'll see in the pin comment for this stream, our Amazon shop. So if you've seen us on YouTube, most of our videos are mainly like microphones and webcams. But in our Amazon shop, there's lots of different videos. Like I was filming Lego the other day. Very short videos of Lego. So you'll be aware, mainly with the streaming stuff, but in our Amazon shop, there are videos on random stuff. Even one of me brushing my teeth in there as well. How can you turn that down? So, right, I think I will let you get on with the rest of your day. I'm going to stuff my face with some food. I'm going to get a nice cold can of Coke Zero. You get back to streaming some Lego. <coughs> I'm not, like, a huge fan of Lego, but the wife is. So she bought, like, the Harry Potter sets and some Star Wars. So I was literally just filming it to put onto our Amazon influencer store. Appreciate it. Been listening for over a year. Have you really? That's yeah, awesome stuff. Mate, now, seriously, I really appreciate you stopping by. See, I don't know how long people have been, like, watching the channel. And, obviously, I quite like the live streams because it's more me rather than videos. So, I'll probably do stupid stuff on live streams. I'll trip over this treadmill that's down there. So now I love it when people come in, and especially when you say you've been listening for over a year. Like, I've literally got no idea who still watches videos. Well, my videos anyway. So thank you, man. Since the first review of the 360. Cheers, man. You still rocking all the wrestling stuff? I did just see that Billy Gunn put it, left his boots in the ring as well. Teasing retirement, so we'll see what comes of that. <coughs> No, nah, thank you. Yeah, like I said, I mean, like content creation, it's quite a lonely world. Like, you create content and you just want to help people. You're just not sure if it actually helps people. So when people jump in and say, like, thank you, like, that video helps, it does mean a lot. Sweetie, almost two years. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, I don't know if I've got any cat pictures for you, sweetie. Let me have a look. Let me see what we've got. Oh, we have got a cat who keeps coming over. Now, this cat has had a stroke, so when it walks, its head goes on the side. Beautiful cat, though. So, there we are. That is... Go on, get in focus. There we are. That is Alfie. He's beautiful. He comes over for a feed. He's got an owner, though. He still comes over for a feed. But now he's, uh, he's a good lad. There you are. There's your cat picture for the day. I'm having a week off before the madness of SummerSlam. <coughs> I saw that Bray Wyatt may possibly be returning. 
bless him. Now he's lovely. He really is. I mean, my neighbours are like me, so if there's any stray cats, we just feed them, which is quite nice. But now it's like a cat sanctuary in the back garden. We've just got so many. Have I got any more pictures? There you are. You can have a, a little look at... That's one of ours. Same focus. There's Cinder. She's beautiful. Not beautiful at five o'clock in the morning when she's like clawing at your mouth to wake you up because she fancies going outside. But now she's good. Oh, I think she's in the, the front room actually. Right. Yes, I think I'll, I think I'll let you go. Let you go on with the rest of your day. So thank you everyone who stopped by. Thank you so much for the super chats as well. Anything garage. Really, really appreciate it. I do mean that. El Ahmed, thank you for coming in as well. Absolute pleasure. I hope you like the Fine Fine M6 as well. I'm sure you will. I, I personally love it. And it's what you're listening to now anyway. So this is your M6. And if you can hold it like this and talk directly into it, it's probably where you're going to get the best audio from it. Right, Manny, as always, an absolute pleasure. I hope you enjoy SummerSlam as well. We had Pickles, who hopefully enjoy the stream. We had Ben at the very start, who came in as well. I once wanted to, for a house pet, and I became allergic to cats, really. Yeah, I'm normally covered in cat fur. Well, I say me, it's normally the microphones now. But now I, I love cats. That should be my calling. I should completely change the YouTube channel and start doing stuff on cat. But now I'll keep saying it. Let's, let's let you get on with the day. Thank you, as always. I really do appreciate people coming in and chatting because it does just make live streams so much easier when you can talk to people. So, thank you. We will be back next week. We may do a couple of streams midweek on YouTube as well. It might just possibly be me either doing some work for the channel or we might even play some games. We'll have a look. You can make a second channel. Don't tempt me. We may do that. The Stray Cat channel. So, yes. Thank you all. And hopefully I get to speak to you all very soon as well. So, stay safe. And 